Hello and welcome to another FS19 mod review. This time it's for these little John Deere 6010 series tractors. Now these are the four cylinder ones, not the six cylinder ones. There's one glaringly obvious mistake with these, which I'll get to when we get that far. So these are off the FBM site, but I will find a link what doesn't involve a certain um, time consuming web download site put in the description so there's a few texture issues on here where the rams are still on the old dull texture not got the new metal textures on certain shiny parts ram cylinders being the main one the wheels don't quite sort of uh, line up properly with the axles but there's no areas that I can see in the dev console on there so on this end here we've got the 6110 with front linkage. So it's a bit texture's a bit off in a place or two, but it's still a nice looking little mod. 6210 with loader brackets and small set of weight or medium medium set of weights. <coughs> 6310 on narrow wheels with a smaller set of weights. We can see the steering ram there is the old textures as are the TLS rams. And the 6410 with a full set of front weights. We know there's issues with the chassis because there's no stress holes in them all the way down. And this is on wide Michelin tires, obviously that one's on narrow and these two are on standard trelly bogs. That sums up the wheel and tire options. As we can see by the front fenders, we've got black framed ones there. And style two, the green framed ones here. This would be what we used to have on our 6810. So these are nice little tractors. They drive well. Still haven't got to the major error I've found with them yet. But I mean, I'm going to sort that and we will see it later in this video. Let's look inside, <coughs> dashboard pedals, monitor for John Deere round baler up there, correct colour levers for a uh, 6010 and left hand reverser. There's no IC of any description on this tractor, I haven't tried the lights on it yet, so front and side so it looks like we've got the front belt line lights come on with the those ones we've then got another set come on we've got back ones and top ones so there's four light settings now I think one of them isn't coming on when they're supposed to there but we're getting the light on the ground so it's a slight error there Something a bit funny going on with the rear lights there as well. Indicator wise, they work. To start, they work. Something funny has gone on with them. This is as close as I can zoom the camera as well, so that's, um, external camera's got a couple of issues with it. And the biggest issue will be when I start the engine. Sounds very much like an R series to me. So the sound is completely off for a 10 series John Deere. <clears throat> That's the biggest downside to me, but I will fix that in a second on here. Just a quick change in the XML files. Good news is, however, it has dynamic hoses and they do connect up for the right ports. So that's one big bonus. So I will just make a quick adjustment to these tractors in the XML file and we will be right back.
Okay, so I've made a quick adjustment to these tractors and the XMLs. The engine sounds will link to the John Deere 8400R. I've now put them across to the M series. So it sounds a little bit better for them. Still not correct, but uh, better than they were sounding. All I've literally done is link the in-game M-Series sound files instead of the in-game 8400R sound files. Looks like I've got a four-cylinder engine sound and not a six-cylinder. Slow lifting up, but it does it. Seems well balanced enough on here. It's getting dirty as well. Should do on the ground. Not a bad looking tractor, really. So the textures are just a little bit off to where I'd like them on there. I think they do work. That's just a bit of something I hadn't checked originally. They do sound better with this engine sound put on them than the um, ones that they came with. Brakes are actually fairly sharp on that. Side. No pedal working pedals in there. So no pedals, joystick lever animation anywhere in there. For some reason the indicators are <coughs> orange in there, not green. Textures aren't perfect, but it is a workable tractor. It functions. No flash. No lights on the dashboard when the lights are on. That's a minor detail. So let's have a look in the shop at these now. Under small tractors. 60 10, starting at £55,000. 
And there we have the 6110. With trelly ball standard. Narrow. So two options and Michelin just wide. Fenders. Black framed or the newer green framed ones on the later 10 series. 300 front weight, 500, 700 front attacher. 6162636410. With or without front loader. It does seem to drift in the shop occasionally. So if you put something else on it moves and it stops again. And GPS obviously my mod. So between 80 and 105 horsepower there, maxed out at 82,600 pounds. It's another nice little tractor mod there. So I'll pop a link to this in the description. If you guys take a look at it, as I said, it's not perfect. It does work. But if you want to get the sand a bit more decent, you'll have to just swap the sand XML line around like I've just done with this one. So that's where we're going to leave this video. So for now, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.